Hey there, hi, this is Jason. I'd like to review my brand new Duramax 10,000 watt generator and at the both and both at the same time review something that I made and uh, if anybody's interested I can probably make you the same thing for about $700 it would probably cost you about 200 bucks to ship it but it's a pretty nice little generator enclosure I'm gonna call it and uh, it's got a muffler on it and you can just hook it up in the rain so you can run your generator in the rain we just had a tornado so kind of freaked me out a little bit and we're working on our uh, our stuff that involves you know in case the electricity goes out food rations all this stuff so to make matters less and keep this video short let's get right to it what we got here is a Duramax 10,000 watt generator it's a beautiful beautiful generator I don't have one single complaint to tell you guys I'll start it right up the only th thing I thought was kind of a pain in the fucking dick was this shit right here you had to hook up the fucking shit for the, the electric start but uh besides that I didn't have any problem putting it together pretty much it was just the wheels and the handles and it was easy as that but uh I drilled a hole as you can see to make the wires not hang out and I don't know I'm just a neat freak anyway so I like to keep things nice and tidy but to get on with everything um I got a kit coming the back of the carburetor there I can run this thing on propane natural gas or gasoline it's 40 degrees and I'm gonna start it up Dead battery. Oh shit, I forgot to turn on the gas. got the idle control so it idles down when you're not using the power Yeah, we've got a couple little bugs to work out as you can see I mean you, you fumble around with some of this stuff but uh we've got good air supply and the exhaust comes right out of the muffler so no fumbling around with things we can take a step back maybe even a couple of steps back it's not like it's very loud in the first place but and uh, it works great neat little design what we've got here 
is a little port for plugs. I think I've showed you guys already. Yeah, it's pretty neat. And like I said, if anyone is interested, I could probably build something very similar for about $700. And uh, that's my little enclosure. It's about a half hour later, we still got excellent results. The motor hasn't stopped for any lack of air supply. I haven't opened the door to see if it's very cool, but got a little got a little bit of rattling. I think that might be some of the bolts are not tightened all the way. And like I said, this is still a work in progress. So we're still working out the bugs. And uh, let me point it over there. And I think it's pretty quiet. Got a little silencer on there. And we're right directly next to this thing. Feels a little warm, but... Let's open it up and see how we do. So it's a little warm, but I mean, it's nothing that I would expect to be too hot, if you will, for the inside of that, especially running for about a half hour. And like you say, I mean, this is something that I would have to fabricate, especially for every one. And uh, only time will tell if it lasts. That's red hot. I wouldn't touch that for about another 15, 20 minutes, but looks good. I got an electric start, so I can just start it up right in there. Uh, battery's a little dead. It's cold. All right. We're pretty good from the weather, like I said. And this is the inside, let's check it out. What we got here is ample space to hang cords. What you got here are ventilation fans. Pushing air in, sucking air out. I got a little port right there. We're not very good set up right now with the uh, transfer switch, but I plan on just hooking the, uh, the cords up right from the generator right in here and running them right outside. I mean, it's pretty rough. This is my first one. Got all the cords connected to a little GSI plug kit, and you just plug it right in. Of course, the generator itself has an idle control, so when you plug that in, it kicks on high. And I fill up the rocks. This is Jason. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day.